We had another lovely day today, cool and breezy. That's fall. <laughs> Meteorologist Scott Steele is here with the forecast. Well, that really does sum it up. In fact, a huge change from yesterday's 70s into the 50s for the most part today, although Mitchell International and many of our lakeside communities are reaching about 60 degrees. Great to have your company here this evening. On a Tuesday, check out a live look from our downtown tower cam. We're perched atop Discovery World Museum, looking to the north-northwest, and the, really the last substantial cloudiness over downtown Milwaukee. Off to the west, you can see beautiful Beautiful sunset imminent around here taking place even as we speak. Your weather word is chillier. The cooler air is in place and it's going to get even chillier as we head toward the weekend with what could be the first frost of the season. We'll talk about that in a moment. Temperatures outside right now diving to near 40s uh, inland locations. 50 in Fondy, 51 in Beaverdam, 52 in West Bend. Northwesterly breezes sustained 7 to 12 miles an hour. Satellite and radar combination showing the clearing line moving into southeastern Wisconsin courtesy of high pressure off to the west ushering in the drier northwesterly winds. That's going to provide a brief bright break around southeastern Wisconsin as future forecast shows the skies clear out rapidly leading to sun for tomorrow. So your storm team forecast for tonight. We'll see eventually mainly clear skies as we go through the nighttime hours seasonally chilly down to 40 in the locations in the 30s. Then for tomorrow, lots of sunshine and temperatures up to a more seasonal 60 degrees. Continued a little breezy. Your storm team for seven day forecast calling for the cold air to really settle in here Friday into Saturday morning. We could get the first frost of the season would not be the least bit surprised to see frost advisories issued by the National Weather Service as we head towards Saturday and Sunday morning. Stick around. Rod Burks is back with sports after this.